Mediterranean, hibiscus, lily, figs, after four years. And I know because March 30th is our anniversary, when Reagan was shot, all I wanted was a washing machine. When the news broke, I thought Jeffrey had outdone himself. Well, not really. Maybe a little. He has Irish blood, you know what that means. Die for whiskey, die for love, violent devotion in all quarters. As my great granny said, better an Irishman than a Spaniard. For a moment, I thought Geoffrey listened too well, went to meetings on his own, read leaflets in the toilet. He was a trainee accountant with a stutter, but in those days, New York was mean. I thought he was on the march, like Pierce, like Connolly, fire in the belly at last. He'd be called, of course. I'd have to sit with Barbara Walters and disavow him. My friends would know. Women would write to him in prison and I would... <laughs> well, doesn't matter. Jeffrey celebrated four years of marriage with a fig tree, the sweets of our union in jams and pies. My mother loved it because he was practical. He is. He is. He knows to leave well enough alone around this time. Right now, I suppose he's being beaten half to death by a young woman who is well paid for her time. Once he tried to kiss my boot, lick it, actually, I broke his nose. Oh, not on purpose. I thought he knelt down to massage my bunion. Some people can't feel pain. They have to make it up wherever they can find it. At first he watered, he pruned, but then, well, it got hot. And <sighs> Jeffrey was in London for six weeks. I was in bed with a migraine, deaf, blind, dumb psychedelic lights of the heavenly choir. 36 hours I woke up with sick on my chin holding this driftwood. I may have grabbed it from a drawer. Mother was still in Jamaica. She used to send all sorts of stupid things for luck. Maybe I ran to Chinatown. Maybe I sailed to Southampton. Maybe I fucked Mick Jagger and he gave me this instead of diamonds. All I know is it felt good to hold it. It was smooth, like our old cat, Flash, who drowned in Hong Kong. It had a ridge, like my father's uniform, the braid on my father's uniform. He'd swap my hand away. I might pull the thread, but not now. He's not drinking under the jacaranda in the officers' club. No more rum punch on the plantation. He's finally home, the victim of gangsters' bullets, a hero's funeral buried in the green fields of England. I cleaned up, made a few calls. After four hours, I had geraniums, hibiscus, lilies, and figs. And Jeffrey was thrilled. I sorted him out. You're not going to sit there like the Pasha of Khartoum. Newspapers are for the office. In all the four corners of the world, I have smelt in all these things while you slept with one eye open in Winchester. Mm -hmm. I know the moon on their leaves. I know how they smell in the rain. I've eaten them. I've watched men in white coats prune them at dawn. Serious business. If you want to play Lord Duckmuck, get yourself a window box and grow tomatoes. Have to start somewhere. <laughs>
And after 40 years, I don't suppose he will. It's fine. I may not have a room of my own, but at least I understand fertilizer. I don't go to many meetings. My knees creak, my headaches are worse, but the young people know where to find me. Yesterday, a girl sat there and asked me to save the penguins. The plan was to fly them to a 50,000 square foot house in Indiana. I was asked to help pay for the industrial air conditioning. Before that, Palestine, a young man who looked like Cary Grant, asked me for bandages and glue. Bandages, I understand, but glue. They're quicker and more effective than stitches, he said. They deserve respect. I want to look my best for them. Often it scares them. I don't care. I dress up even when they don't come. It helps me think. When the body stops reflecting the mind, that's when I'll give up hope for the world. But not yet. Not yet. As the sun goes down, I think of my father in his club, Johannesburg, Nairobi, Kingston, all different, yet all the same, cricket on the lawn or croaky, music. How many men poured his gin, ironed his coffee of the times, asked him about his wife and pretty little girl? How many were shot? Who did the shooting? Did the one I liked, he had a gold tooth, end up in a pit somewhere? If he didn't, <laughs> perhaps he cut some throat. And now he's a retired customs official. Wife, grandchildren, a mountainside, villa, flowers in the wind, magnificent birds, he drinks his tea in the sun and eats roasted figs and prays for just a few more days like